Hey everyone, welcome to Quick Tech Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you a program by Autodesk called Tinkercad. Now the way to access Tinkercad is simply by going to www.tinkercad.com. Once you enter the web address, it will take you to the homepage, which is displayed here. And it's a really nice, colorful homepage and also gives you a nice overview of what Tinkercad actually does. So if I scroll down a little bit, the three main features it allows you to do is you can create a 3D model, which will allow you to also 3D print it. You can simulate electronic circuits. And within the electronics section, you can import an Arduino and actually practice your coding. So you can design and simulate circuits in, uh, with Arduino or breadboarding before even making them in real life, which is kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna scroll back up to the top here. In order to start using Tinkercad, you need to create an account. Now I already have one, so I'm gonna sign in in a second. But if you don't, you can click join now and you just need a couple pieces of information. For one, you have to enter your country and your birthday. And once you click next, it will ask for an email and a password. Now they're not going to be emailing you anything, but you do need some sort of email or username in order to use the program. Now going back to the homepage, I'm gonna sign in and take you to your projects dashboard. Okay, so once you sign in, it'll take you to your projects dashboard. Now on the left hand side, if I click 3D designs or circuits, these are where you could access your projects. What's really nice about Tinkercad is anytime you create a new project, a new file is automatically created and everything is automatically saved. So you don't need to worry about saving anything. And what's also nice about that is as long as you can access Tinkercad.com, you can access your projects. So on the left hand side, I have 3D designs already highlighted and you notice this button right here that says create new design. So if I wanted to create a 3D model of something or make something that I want to 3D print, I can click create new design and it will take you to the 3D designs work plane. Now in my other tutorials, you'll see how you can use this work plane and start creating a 3D model. But everything again is pretty user friendly. All of your tools are on the right hand side and you have some options up here as well to import a design or even export it to 3D print. In order to get back to your dashboard, you can click the Tinkercad logo in the top left corner. And I'm gonna show you the electronics section or the circuits section. So just like 3D designs, you can see now because I created a new design, this file already popped up and I can click tinker this if I wanna edit it in the future. I'm gonna click circuits and it's pretty much the same thing as the 3D design section. So if I click create new circuit, it will take me to the circuit design dashboard. Now again, you have your components on the right hand side and there are many more to choose from as well. Uh, feel free to check out my Tinkercad electronics tutorials if you want to see how you can use this portion of the program. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And again, any new project you create will be available for you. Okay, that's pretty much just a really quick overview of getting into Tinkercad and just an overview of how you can access your designs. Please feel free to check out my other tutorial videos on how to start creating a 3D model and how to start creating electronic circuits. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please make sure to click subscribe below and turn on notifications and also follow us on Instagram at quick underscore tech underscore tutorials to stay updated on any new tutorials we post.